And speaking of hell, is, does such a thing exist? Is this just... Uh... Only in the mind of a disconnected being, human. The animals don't know it. Only humans who pinch themselves off from clarity. Wouldn't so... you call confusion a sort of hell? Wouldn't you call lethargy a sort of hell? People who behaved in, in, in horrific ways, is there punishment uh, uh, when they leave this, uh, this earthly plane? That really disappoints humans when we tell them that that, that, that that is not the case. The greatest punishment is self-inflicted as you deprive yourself of the energy of source, which is available to you at all times. And when you disallow that, it's very unpleasant. So but when you reemerge back into non-physical, you will leave behind all doubt and fear, all grudges, all hatred, all misunderstanding. And you will become a vibrational equivalent to all that this life and before has caused you to become. So all of the low points in our own lives, when I think, when I think of, uh, as I was writing this, uh, I can see clearly now, I, 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 I look at... Uh, at some of the things that I did, the ways that I behaved, yeah. uh, my consciousness, and, uh, and I... Yeah. And, and but I, how would you know you're seeing clearly if you didn't see not clearly? Hmm. How would you appreciate that's the great, clarity that's that you've now found if you hadn't lived in some of that? And how could you live other than what you're living? Hmm. There's a source right there calling you forward, calling you forward, calling you forward, and then it's easy to get all the way forward and look back and say, shouldn't have been on that path and shouldn't have been on that path when source called you every step along the way because it was the path of least resistance and therefore the only path that was available to you at the time. It's a good thing to give yourselves a break. Source is not judging you. Mm. You do it to yourself and then you pinch yourself off from the source. But I think of, uh, I don't know, but just I've just been lucky <laughs> that um, had... Had I been found out, some of the things that I, you know, the, the ways that I had behaved at earlier times in my life. But uh, things are always working out for you. And your, behavior, and your behavior didn't deserve punishment. It didn't deserve finding out. You're just off your path a little bit. Right. You know, source is always looking the other way when you stumble. Never looking, never looking at what you think is wrong. That's you that do that to yourselves mm -hmm. and each other. Little child is just learning to walk, falls down. Get up, you little dummy. <laughs> you don't say that. You acknowledge that this is the way he finds his balance. And Source mm -hmm. feels the same way about all of you. So I can feel good about some of those. Uh, I've often you better if you want to be on your high-flying disc. Right. Mm. In other words, you can't look back with any condemnation of self without disconnecting yourself from Source, who feels good about everything you've lived. Everything. Everything. I've often said that uh, true nobility is it's not about being better than anyone else. It's, it's about being better than you used to be. Um, and in every regard, I think I am better nobility than you. Nobility is overrated because it's what people, it's, it's the consciousness that people have. God never uses the term nobility. Unless Ever. it applies to all of us. Unless it applies to, well, what does noble mean anyway? Well, it, you know, it's like, we're talking now perfection, you know. It's like yeah, but there isn't any of that because you never get it done. Perfection smacks of endedness and there isn't any of that. So nobility, that's, th those are some of those things that humans use to compare themselves with each other while they're on lower flying discs. Mm.